In this series, I aim to give you a quick introduction to some of the plant families found in the UK. Learning to identify plant families is a great help in identifying individual plant species you come across. Plants are classified into families based on characteristics that they share. So the way to identify a plant's family is to know these characteristic features. Today we're going to look at the Equisitaceae, or horsetail family. This is a family of herbaceous perennial plants distributed nearly worldwide, with the exception of Antarctica, and introduced in the Australasian region. There are only about 20 species in this family, all in the same genus, Equisetum. Some of these are used in herbal medicine, for food and for fibre. Their tissues contain the mineral silica, which gives them abrasive qualities, and horsetails have been used for scouring and polishing, which is useful when you're cleaning metal pots and pans. Equisita morvense, the field horsetail, is well known as a persistent weed in many places. Equisetum hyamali, the rough horsetail, is grown as an ornamental plant. Equisetum miriochetum, the giant horsetail. Equisetum telmatea, the great horsetail. And Equisetum pretensi, the shady horsetail, are a few other examples of Equisetaceae species. There are nine species found in the UK, including Equisetum arvense, Equisetum telmatea, Equisetum palustri, the marsh horsetail, and Equisetum sylvaticum, the wood horsetail. Many of these also hybridise with each other. Plants in the Equisetaceae family do not produce flowers, and unlike flowering plants or conifers, they do not produce seeds. They reproduce using objects called spores, tiny dust-like packets of genetic material that must pass through several stages before growing into a new generation of plants. Horsetails form their spores in structures called stroboli or cones. These grow on the end of a stem, which may or may not have branches depending on the species. Each strobilus is made up of many small structures called sporangiophores. Sometimes these fertile stems appear earlier in the year than the longer lasting vegetative stems. When the strobilus is mature, the spores are released from the sporangiophores and dispersed by the wind. The leaves of Equisetaceae plants are not obvious at first. They are highly modified and very small. They grow in whorls around the stems and are fused together to make a spiky looking ring or sheath around the stem. These tiny leaves are simple and have pointed tips. The features of these leaf sheaths are important for identification of species. Equisetaceae stems are straight and upright with joints that divide them into a repeating pattern of leaf sheath, stem, leaf sheath, stem. They are hollow inside and have ridges running down their length. The size of the hollow space and the number of ridges are other useful ID features. Some species have whorls of branches on the stems that themselves have leaf sheaths and ridges. Plants in this family also have stems that grow underground called rhizomes. These give rise to new upright stems. So, if your plant has stroboli, small pointed leaves formed into sheaths around jointed stems with ridges on them, then it's a fair bet it's in the Equisetaceae. Keep an eye out for these three species. Equisetum arvense, the field horsetail, a common plant with unbranched fertile stems that sprout before the branched vegetative stems. Equisetum sylvaticum, the wood horsetail, a delicate looking horsetail with long feathery branches. And Equisetum fluviatile, the water horsetail, a species with bright green stems and many tiny leaves that grows in wet places. <laughs>